so next, hotels. So you just land in your destination, you're going to your hotel. When you book a hotel room, you want to be floors three through six. Three through six, why is that? First two floors, criminals target because they're easy to get to. They can oh, get because a they escape. can get into them, of course. Right, right. You don't have to go up ten flights of stairs. You can get right to them. Right. The next thing is the reason you don't want to go past floor six is in case there's a fire. So obviously it's much easier to get down uh, six floors versus the 77th floor. Gotcha. But also what most people don't realize is that most fire truck ladders in the United States of America will only go to the sixth floor max. So if you get trapped and you're sitting there at that window, that ladder is going to the sixth floor. If you're at the 20th floor, you're out of luck. So people say over and over again, you know, I want the view, I want the penthouse, I want to be in the 30th floor, the 50th right. floor. That's terrible advice. Unless you have that view from the sixth floor, unless you get the million dollar <laughs> view, then it works. So third floor to sixth floor. Correct. Third that's floor right. to sixth floor. To be the that's the sweet zone. And the then sweet zone. one more thing about those floors is never get the room right next to the exit. So the stairwell exit. Criminals always target that room because, again, it's a quick escape. I go in, I burglarize sure. the room, I go right You're, down the stairwell. Wow. I'm out. So avoid that. I know. Don't you feel so dumb after he leaves? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's the next thing? All right, next thing. You've gone to your hotel, you've checked in, you're on floor five, you're not next to the exit. Is we know that when you're out and about as a tourist, obviously you have a target on your back. So if you're wearing 10 cameras or if you're walking around and you've got that map of France or uh, the Louvre or you're going to Paris, right, right, whatever. Right, right, right. So what you want to do is carry around some way to protect yourself. And I'm not talking about a knife or any kind of thing like that, but there's a simple tool which anybody can use to keep you safer. So let's say, for instance, I'm going to grab this real quick. Right. Let's say you're at an amusement park. You're coming out of the amusement park. It's late. Your car is in the middle of nowhere. And you're walking out with your kids, and you think some guy's following you. And then you get that horrible feeling in your gut where you know this guy's following you. Yeah, that's super creepy. Right, yeah. exactly. And the last thing you want to do is keep walking and let that guy close distance on you. That way you end up at your car in the middle of nowhere and he could do harm to your family. So I'm going to show you the tool I'm talking about is very inexpensive. Anybody can buy. I'm going to show you how it works right now. So what we'll do, Rachel, if you don't mind. But you don't normally carry a purse, Well, right? this is why I teach women and most women do this. But yes, this is not my regular purse. I don't have a regular purse. But I'm going to pretend like I'm, okay. the, you know, I'm the mother going out. I've just come out of whatever amusement park. You've been following me, and I'm going to use this tool that's in here to make sure that you don't get cl too close to me and I don't freak out. Okay. So I'm going to have you follow me. We'll just pretend. We'll walk, walk, walk. I see you close in. Yes! <laughs> no, that was not nice. I think, we killed it. I think we killed it. Now it doesn't want to work anymore. That is not fair that that doesn't work. That was me. That's what you want. Let me take on my purse. Are you deaf now? That really does stop one in one's tracks, I might add. It will scare the bejesus out of it anyone. It did out of me. Yes. Thanks so much for the heads up.